Okay, John Levy here today with Nick Clearwater of Golf Tech. We're talking about the laws of how the golf ball flies. So Nick, let's talk about these long-standing golf ball flight laws and how they've actually changed in the last few years. Sure, sure. So I wouldn't say that any of the laws have changed. Let's start there. It's always been the same way. The interpretation of the ball flight laws has always been a problem throughout golf. You can ask even the best golfers who play on the PGA Tour. They don't always know how the ball actually gets to where it does. They're just swinging and getting a good result. But it's really simple to understand and it can help you problem solve your own game. And how so? It's a great question. The ball starts wherever the club face is pointed. So if I aim that straight when I hit the ball, then the ball's going to start more or less right on my target. Uh, this is the primary projection tool. This is where the ball is going to begin. So not my swing path. No, that's the misunderstanding. And you lead into a good point of slicing golfers try to swing more to the left as they hit the ball, and it's just making their slice even more uh, predominant. So the way to actually curve the ball leftward for most right-handed golfers would be to swing to the right of the club face. So to hit the smallest draw like the guys you see on TV, aim the face pretty close to your target or where you want the ball to start and then you need to swing to the right of that to make the ball actually curve to the left. Just an, an understanding of that should really help weekend golfers play better. So if I'm at home and I've sliced the golf ball my whole golfing life, what would you say to someone like yes, that? Yes, what you're doing is uh, aiming the face in a particular direction. So when you hit the ball, it's either aimed to the left or to the right. But what you're always doing, always, is swinging to the left of the club face. You need to do the opposite. You need the face angle to be aimed more to the left than the swing direction that you're actually going to use. Then all the balls will draw. If anything, you'll start having a problem with drawing too much, which is every weekend golfer's dream. Okay, so sum up in just a couple words. I'm at home, I slice it, how do I fix it? So if I wanted to never slice another ball, I could start by pushing the butt end of the club further toward the target and raise it up, turn my grip more to the right than I usually do, close my hips and shoulders, and then on the backswing, make sure I bring the handle of the club inward or close to my right leg. And that would be a pretty good recipe to stop slicing altogether. You tend to hit a lot of shots that look like this. That would be a great start. Doesn't mean you still can't do something wrong, but that's how you'd start. Stopping slicing isn't that challenging, but if you don't know where to start because you don't really know the ball flight laws, there's just no way to do it on your own. It would take a tremendous problem solving or trial and error process to make that work. It would just be luck. Swing better. Play better. Golf Tech.